Hi, YouTube. It's me again. <laughs> Look at this closet. I left it exactly as it was last time I filmed. So nothing has been moved or done <laughs> or anything. And I really want to do it now. First of all, I can barely walk into my closet. Look at this. Next bag full. This is just trash. I'm not tossing my supplies. This is just packaging. Packaging and things that were kind of there for no reason. It's not a supply, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> something was just in something and whatever. Yeah, but look at this because I'm going to move some furniture. Furniture. <laughs> <laughs> some shelves <laughs> I'm going to move it and organize it and I would love 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 to get this into the closet once I move the Christmas supplies where I want them to be I want to put this stuff into the closet it's almost just Christmas stuff I kept it out here because I was not sure where I'm gonna end up putting it and I really didn't want to like pick it all up and put it somewhere just to like, you know, put it in some different place. But yes, this is what I'm going to do. Also, I'm going to take this out. I think that's enough plans for today. <laughs> this has to go. I will put it into my garage and see, <coughs> excuse me, and see if I will ever use it. I don't know. I can't tell. I might or might not. So, the garage still has some spots left for my stuff, even though hubby is always asking me, do you need this? Do you need that? And I always say yes. <laughs> okay, so let me start doing something, maybe moving some things around, and then I will come back. Here I am again. It has been a lot of days. I haven't done anything in here. I was very bad. I had fiber flare up like I didn't have for a while. I don't know why, but it always happens, you know, when something good is supposed to happen or whatever. It was Mother's Day, but I'm getting better now. And as you can see, I moved stuff. Yay! I've done a couple things today already. So let me just show you what I did. It's everything is not done yet. I keep pushing this one back and forth because I put everything that I don't know what the spot is right in there for right now. But I told you I wanted to toss something into my garage. I didn't do it. So I took all this and um, I organized my Etsy papers since I've got all of my, not all of them, but a lot of my paper pads. And um, yeah, for my Etsy store, I need to take pictures and, um, you know, just um, make the listings. And to make it easier on me, <laughs> you know, I wrote down what kind of paper pad is in there. And I have them all in this baggies. So, you know, they just don't get... Um, bent or dirty or whatever even though here is no dirt but here is no dirt <laughs> yeah in this messy room is no dirt however look i have one to go it's not full <laughs> so yeah i did this um many more fit in here this way because I had them in one of those before. And this one I'm going to keep in here just for those, you know, you don't always organize right away. So you or I need to catch it all. So catch it all for my Etsy is right here. It's going to stay right here. And I still have to put the stickers away. At least I have them all in a bunch. <laughs> I put my birthday box right here because I have those shelves from the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure if it's going to stay on there because it's pretty, you see? So I don't know if it's going to hold up or if I have to bend them or whatever. This one is not sure, but this one, I put all of my stamps, Halloween and Thanksgiving, because this is my Halloween and Thanksgiving card. I put them all into the shoebox. I did not organize them or stamp them out into my storage yet. That's why I'm going to write myself a list because I really need to get somewhat of um, organizing done here 
and then go in depth. If I keep doing it like I'm doing it right now, <laughs> my living room is never going to be clean. And I am about to clean it up. I was cleaning it today. There's a lot of my stuff because everything that's here and I need to organize, I would take to my living room and stamp it out or whatever it is I need to do. But Halloween stamps and dies are right here. I'm pretty sure I have some somewhere else I need to look. So those are all together in here and the rest of it is up there on the shelf. I think I showed you this one. I moved it last time. Now I also moved the second one and actually it's much better now because I still have everything I had in my closet. I brought in a desk for my Etsy and by moving this stuff, I got more room, you know, so this shelf went on the side and then I put my Christmas right here and this one next to it and it fits perfectly. So still don't exactly know what to do with this one. I know that I can push something in there. Didn't find anything, not going to push anything in there just to have it in there. You know, I'm not going to do this <laughs> to, just to fill it up. So that's why I just put it on top there and um, still little things to organize. This one is organized, only bags, like packaging, which I can alter to send off something. There is only bags and paper bags. I have to organize the two shoe boxes. I have no idea. They might be even empty. And the two on the bottom are organized already. So I actually just need to put them into the right spot, which I don't know what it is yet. Right here is my Christmas card. And what I did was I put all of my stamps in there, not stamped out or anything. All of my dies and embossing folders are in here. And you saw the card itself. Now I have all of those. I took them out from my dies. I have to put them aside and write on my list that I have to take off the magnets. I have one of the shelves left over. Basically the top, this needs to be organized. Those are done. This is empty. It's done. This needs to be done. And then, yeah, actually this one is just empty boxes and then I have to look into the other ones. And that's how far I am right now. Now let me show you real quick something I did in my room. Okay, I also took the other box apart, as you can see. There it is, <laughs> the backing of it. I took it apart because Right here, I also had all of my paper pads in the same um, container from the Dollar Tree. And it just did not fit that many like this one does. It goes all the way into the back. So I put all of my uh, normal papers in the back. I don't use them. I really have to start. I mostly don't use them because then they will be gone. <laughs> you know what I mean? They will be gone. <laughs> like with the bigger paper pads, I can use a part, I can sell a part, and I can still keep a part. <laughs> but with the small one, they will be just gone. However, everything else is in here, like glittery paper and, you know, different other paper, like this cork. And um, I love this one. I, I actually made a little girl with this one. <laughs> the fiber paper stack. I was lucky that um, they put a wrong one at the Tuesday morning on top of it and they sold it to me for uh, 49 cents. They actually go for 249. So that was lucky. <laughs> Showed you that I have all of them like this. Didn't put anything in front here yet. And I have more. And I do have this huge bag, zipper bag, and this contains all of like the Dollar Tree paper. I don't know how to call it, but the ones that are really different, it's poster board or this one is really thin. And my foams and poster board, like glittery paper or something like that. I put them all in here and I do have a bunch of silver and gold and a lot of times I grab for silver and gold so that's why I put them in their extra baggie to have them handy. 
there are a, par a couple more. I do have a couple paper pads that I did not cut just because I didn't want to. And you know, all the insides of the paper pads, like, let me take this out. Oh my God. All the ones that are huge and cannot be used as like, you know, you cannot cut them down. I just took them all out of the paper pads and I clipped them all right here and I keep them like that. So if I need a big piece of paper for whatever reason, or if I decide to just fussy cut something out of here, I will have it right here. Of course, it's almost impossible to do it with one hand, but I'm going to do it in a bit. So yeah, and I do have a couple that I left on purpose, 12 by 12, because I do have something in mind for them. So that's what I did. And I think that was a lot already. <laughs> I also made myself, huh? you can see the washi tape tubes are gone, but it's still in my living room. I'm going to show you a little later. I made myself something out of it and I was like, yeah, <laughs> I love it. It's really perfect for my needs. I'm going to just continue now. Don't you think it looks so much better? Like, you know, if you open this door and you see that, isn't it like, woo, <laughs> look how cool it is. <laughs> I think so. So I'm going to see if I can do something else. And I clean here and I clean my living room. So what I do is I take five pieces from my living room and I take them over here and then I clean up here and then I go back to my living room. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff, guys, a lot of stuff. Um, I want to see if I can put this away because I'm saying it all the time and it's in my way, but I kind of don't do it. So I'm going to try to do that. I know that I don't upload other videos at the moment. I'm not crafting too much. I'm coloring because I'm not feeling well. And then I, I will color. <laughs> I will color a lot. I am like... I'm just like that. But there will be on Thursday, you will get a mini gorgeous girl. So, okay. I'm going to continue and see if I can get this done today. This closet, I would be delighted if I could just get this closet done today. I would be the happiest person ever for today. But I don't know yet. So let me do something and then be back. Oh my God. Slowly but surely. I start to believe that it can get done. <laughs> I'm so excited. You have no idea. No idea. So I worked very slow, very slow, but I managed to do things. Let me show you. Everything seasonal is in its place. I have all of my Christmas stuff over there and it's organized just by how I needed papers. All the six by six papers I decided to put in that one. And then you saw my big box and I have some new stuff up there. And for now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it this way. Oh look, I found one more right there. It was hiding in the drawer. Is there more? No. So what I decided to do is for now, I'll put my gift bags in there. And I will just see how it works out. If it doesn't, I'll find something else. But for right now, it's the best way for me. I'm also not sure if I showed you this or not, but I took, you know, last time I videotaped in the morning and I don't remember anymore <laughs> what I did afterwards and what I did before that. But I do have this too. And I organized the paper. I had one box and I used two now. And I have all of the textured paper in here and of the normal paper. It's not normal. It's also pretty in there. And I do have a little basket because I don't have much, but this is double sided paper right here. Okay. Have all my bags, have all of my paper bags, all of the things people send me, empty boxes, <laughs> alphas. Then I organized the whole thing here. I've 
this I kept and I'm going to put anything I find that is in bags and needs to be organized. It's not much in there, as you can see. I will put in there. Everything else is organized here. This is missing the lid because it's behind me <laughs> filled with stuff I have to organize. But it's pretty cool. Look, let me turn everything organized on the top. So I have my Easter and Valentine's and no, <coughs> excuse me, 4th of July, my Halloween. The only thing that it's not organized, I have to put it on the, this is the advent calendar my bestie made for me. I have just to put it over there. I didn't see it. But this part is organized. Nothing there yet. You know, I don't have to fill it all up. I made this one and that <laughs> I wanted to show and share with you. So I grabbed the box, leftover box, cut it down to the size. This was just, you know, I had a paper pad and this was on the outside of the paper pad. So I decided to use it. Why would I toss it, right? Some washi tape on top. And then I did use the washi tape tubes. Those are the washi tape tubes. I put some washi tape on top right here just to make it match a little. And I do have nine of them. And I put my pencils color coordinated because I like it this way better. I like to have blues and purples and, you know, like pinks and yellows not together mixed. I like to have them apart. I have one for my paper stamps in here. My pencil sharpener fits perfectly. My Gamsol fits perfectly. I have a chart for my pencils. This is just for myself. I did it so I know what I put in which um, category for colors and how it looks normal and how it looks with Gamsol. So just, you know, I know it. And I also put my images in here that I was working on. Of course, you dropped. Oh, I hope I'm not making you dizzy or something. Aren't they cute? So I was coloring them, but I didn't finish. And this one I still want to cut out and put some, you know, accents on her. Didn't color her yet. And I need some accents on her too. So I'm not done coloring them. I just keep them in the front right here and I fold my color chart and I just stick it right in there. Of course, one-handed, it's harder, but because it's in a sleeve, nothing is gonna happen to it. So, ta-da, <laughs> you know, it's my pencil case. <laughs> and every time I want to color, I just have to grab the whole thing and take it out and go, because mostly I really do color in my living room. I like to be there, you know, my dog's around and stuff, so I'm just not feeling alone because mostly I color when I don't feel well. Also put all of the kind of journaling cards that I found in my room in this one. This is a little bit wonky, but it's not coming out of there. So this one is for any hooks or anything like that I find. I showed you those. They are all organized. My bags, my packaging of things I want to do something with, all of my tapes right in there. My Halloween thing is done. Oh, now I can actually put this back up there. I want this to go up there just because, sorry, it's gonna go up there. I like it here, I always had it there. So if I need anything else, I will just put it on top or I will use this in some other space. There is my catch it all, it's the lid of the one box on the other side. This is what I still need to work on for the room. This is organized, and <laughs> right in there it's not organized. The basket only contains the big bags. I use and let's see what's in here. I know I have some paper. What kind of paper? Oh, this is actually um, 4th of July. Jeez, Valentine's paper. So this will go to the Valentine's 
and this <laughs> I have to organize because I was throwing things behind me. So this little spot needs to be organized and then I'm done in my closet. Aha! What? What? <laughs> Don't you think it was a great job? I do. I really do. I mean, it's perfect. Everything is just in its place and I can actually walk in and there is still a lot of spots I could put things in if needed. I do not like to have my stuff just stuffed, you know, to the point where I cannot put anything else in there because it just makes it look so full and not organized. So yeah, I think I have done a good job. The one organizer, shoe organizer here is organized as well. I have started a new trash bag right here, so <laughs> this one will go away. Now I have to finish up everything because I took out all of the empty boxes and whatever and just put them on here. I have to finish this up and then continue working on my room here. But I'm just glad that I have done this. So a lot of other things in my room got a house. It's going to be easier and I hopefully will be done soon. But I would say this one is it for today. I don't know. <laughs> Some of you message me and tell me that you can hear by the way I breathe and talk that I'm not feeling good. So <laughs> I'm not. I need to um, end this and I need to continue tomorrow. Oh, I did a little thing right here. I put all of my buttons and then all of the not sticky bling in there. Not sure if I'm going to keep it this way, but that's what I decided to do for now. Okay. <laughs> uh, in my next video, I will show you the other side of my room because that side looks really, really bad. Oh, look, I did something with the eye my daughter gave me for Christmas like two years ago. Finally, I put leftover strips of paper right on there. I'm not sure I might do something else to it, but now I got three of them here. <laughs> There's a happy wall. The other side has more cards. So everything is good. Still makes me happy. I hope you enjoyed this. I know that a lot of you um, are telling me that it helps them to organize, you know, while they listen to my blah, blah here. <laughs> so that's cool. It helps me to, to organize because I know that, you know, you are waiting for a video. So I have to do something. It's a good motivation. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that. And like I said, next time I'm going to show you the, the other side of the room because it's messy. It is. But this one is done so far. It's not a hundred percent, but it's just little pieces left there. All right. Like I said, I hope you liked it. And if you did, give me a thumbs up and share and subscribe. You know, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Is it much better than it was before? <laughs> are you getting further with your organization? What you guys are doing? And I would say enjoy your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.